we're going to look at a little bit about moonlight. Does the Quran state that the moon gives off reflected light from the sun? Before this was common knowledge. In the Surah of Noah, 71, 15, 16, it says, See ye not how Allah has created the seven heavens one above another, and made the moon a light, nor in their midst, and made the sun as a lamp, siraj? The moon is called a light, Arabic nur, and the sun a lamp, siraj. Some Muslims claim that since the Quran uses different words speaking from about the light of the sun and the light of the moon, it reveals that the sun is a source of light, while the moon only reflects light. This claim is implied very strongly by Shabir Ali in his booklet Science in the Quran, and stated clearly by Dr. Zakir Naik in his video, Is the Quran God's Word? As you will now see clearly. The light that we have, the light that we obtain from the moon, where does it come from? So he will tell me that previously we thought that the light of the moon was its own light. But today, after science has advanced, we have come to know that the light of the moon is not its own light, but it's a reflected light of the sun. I will ask him a question that it is mentioned in this Qur'an, in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, Blessed is he who has created the constellation and placed therein a lamp and a moon which has reflected light. The Arabic word for moon is Qamar, and the light described there is Munir, which is borrowed light, or Nur, which is a reflection of light. The Qur'an mentions that the light of the moon is reflected light. You say you discovered it today. How come it's mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago? He will pause for a time. He won't reply immediately. And then may say, maybe, maybe it's a fluke. I don't argue with him. For sake. Near the end of the video, we heard Dr. Naik explain the Arabic word for moon is Qamar. And the light described there is Munir, which is borrowed light, or Nur, which is a reflection of light. Please do not forget what he said. Munir is borrowed light, and Nur is reflected light. Not only is this claimed to be a statement in keeping with scientific truth, but it is also claimed to be scientifically miraculous, since this was supposedly only discovered relatively recently. It is correct that the moon does not emit its own light, but only reflects the light of the sun. But this was known already almost a thousand years before Muhammad. Aristotle, in about 360 BC, discussed knowing that the earth was round by its shadow on the moon. He could only speak of the earth's shadow crossing the moon if he knew that moonlight is reflected light. If you still insist that this is a miracle of scientific knowledge, then we must ask ourselves, do the Quranic words themselves support this claim? Siraj. First, we shall look at Siraj. In Surah Noah, which was read above, in Surah Al-Furqan 2561, it is simply lamp, referring to the sun. In Surah Naba 7813, Sirajan Wahjan means a dazzling lamp, again indicating the sun. The words Nur and Munir come from the same Arabic word, root. The word Munir is used six times in the Quran. Four times, Surah Al-Imran 3184, Al-Hajj 228, Luqman 3120, and Fatir 3535, it is the phrase Kitab al-Munir, which Yusuf Ali translates as a book of enlightenment, and P Piktal uses the scripture giving light. Clearly, this indicates a book which is radiating the light of knowledge. Nothing about reflection, nor it says in Surah Noah 7116 and Yunus 10:5 that Allah made the light, the moon a light. Thus we find that the Quran says that the moon is a light, and it never says that the moon reflects light. 
Moreover, in other verses, the Quran says that Allah is a nur, a light. Surah Nur 2435, one of the most beautiful passages in the Quran reads, Allah is the light, nur of the heavens and the earth. The parable of his light is as if there was a niche, a niche, and within it a lamp, the lamp enclosed in glass, the glass as it were a brilliant star, and so forth. Thus we see that the word nur is used for both the moon and Allah. Are we going to say that Allah gives off reflected light? I think not. But if you continue to insist that nur used for the moon means borrowed or reflected light, and we saw above that Allah is the light nur of the heavens and the earth, what is the source of this light? Siraj, of which Allah is only a reflection. Think about it. If Allah is named nur or reflected light, who or what is the Siraj? Well, the Quran tells us who the Siraj is, but the answer will shock you. In Surah Al-Ahzab 33, 45, 46, we find, O Prophet, truly we have sent thee as a witness, a bearer of glad tidings and a warner, and as a lamp spreading light. Here it says that Muhammad is the lamp spreading light. In Arabic, it is wasirajan muniran. Linguistically and spiritually, this is the end of the discussion. Linguistically, Siraj and the adjective Munir are used together for the same shining thing, the person Muhammad. It's clear Munir does not mean reflected light in this verse or in any other verse. It means shining. The people of Muhammad's time understood that the moon was shining and they were right. Just as the people of Moses' time understood that the sun was the greater light and the moon the lesser light and they were right. But if you insist that the Arabic words Nur and Munir mean reflected light, then based on the use of these words in the Quran, Muhammad is like the sun and Allah is like the moon. Does Dr. Naik really want to say that Muhammad is the source of light and Allah is only his reflection? Why are these so-called scientific claims made which no Muslim can support if he makes a serious study of his own Quran? In a dialogue like tonight, it makes honest discussion very difficult, almost impossible. He spoke that the Quran says, According to me, and he showed my cassette, according to Brother Shabir Ali, that the light of the moon is reflected light, and he said it doesn't mean that. I'm quoting, again, the Quran mentions in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 61, that blessed is he who was placed in the sky constellation, placed therein lamp, sun, and moon having borrowed light. Munir, Arabic word used for moon is Qamar, it's always described as munir or nur, meaning reflection of light. Reflection of light. Arabic word used for sun is shams. It's always described as wahaj diya, which means a blazing torch, a shining glory. And I can give references, Surah Nu, chapter number 71, verse 15 and 16. Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 5, and so on. And he said that if it means a reflection of light, and he quoted the Quran, Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 35 and 36, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Nur samawati wa ard, is the light of the heaven and the earth. Read the complete verse and analyze what does it say. It says Allah is the light, Nur. It says Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. It is a similitude like a niche and within the niche there is lamp. The lamp word is there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got light of its own and even reflected light like you see a halogen lamp, you know which I hear. The lamp inside is like a siraj, but the reflector is like moon. It is reflecting light. The lamp, the tube, the tube is having a light of its own, but the reflector of the halogen lamp is reflecting light. So both two in one. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, besides having light of its own, as the Quranic verse says, in the niche there is a lamp. And that lamp light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is its own light. And Allah reflects his own light. Dr. William Campbell says that the Quran says that Quran is nur. It is reflecting light. Of course, the Quran is reflecting the light and the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regarding Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam siraj, yes he is. The hadith of the beloved Prophet is giving guidance to us. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is also nur, he is also siraj. Alhamdulillah. 
He has his own knowledge also, alhamdulillah. He has the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. So if you use this word, nur, as reflected light and munir as reflected light, yet, alhamdulillah, you can prove it scientifically that the light of the moon is not its own light, but it is the reflected light. said that Allah reflects light and um, he's made a nur. I didn't really understand that. The brother posed the question, he didn't understand my explanation to the counter-argument of Dr. William Campbell regarding Noor and Allah. The Quran says in Surah Noor, chapter 24, verse number 35, that Allah is Noor samawati wal ard, is the light of the heavens and the earth. He's a light. The meaning of light in the Quran, it is reflected light, a borrowed light. So he's asking, does it mean that even Allah has got borrowed light? So the answer is giving further if you read in the verse. It says that it's like a parable of a niche. In the niche, there is a lamp. Lamp has a light of its own. That means Allah has light of its own, as well as that light of its own is also being reflected. The light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is again being reflected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Like a halogen lamp that you see here. It has a tube in between. The lamp, you can refer to that as a siraj or a wahaj or a diya and the reflector as munir or nur borrowed light or reflection of light and furthermore but naturally this light actually doesn't refer to the physical light we're talking about it is the spiritual light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but as our answer I've given to Dr. William Kapp